Hey everybody, Dennis back with another new video for you today. We're gonna be talking about refinishing risers on our stairway going upstairs here. So previously, there was a carpet runner that was coming down the stairs here. It was stapled in, probably a thousand staples, I'm exaggerating, but it was a couple hundred staples. We removed the runner, because we wanna have like a natural look. We had the rest of the floors in the house refinished. So this is what's left. I had to go through and patch. All the white marks that you see are all patch marks that I spent hours and hours going through and sanding and putting a second coat in. There's probably a couple that I missed. We'll be able to see that once we get our first coat of primer on here. So what we're gonna be using today is a the Zinser, Zinser, the Zinser bin primer. Um, this is actually an alcohol-based primer. Everybody thinks this is oil-based. It's actually denatured alcohol on here. So if you go to clean up your brush after using this and you use paint thinner, you're not even gonna bother. Nothing's gonna happen, as I found out. Uh, funny story behind that. But anyways, um, you'll need denatured alcohol to clean your brush after this. Um, stuff dries super fast. I believe they recommend an hour in between coats. Let's see if the paint hasn't dripped on here. Um, I think it's like an hour between coats or 45 minutes. I found that I can recoat as low as 30 minutes, um, as I've seen with some of the, the doorways and window case molding and stuff that I've primed in the rest of the house, because everything in here is like this brown color, and we want to change to all white. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a brush first. I'm going to cut in all the edges. Everything's already taped up. I also put down this craft paper, like construction paper. Um, and that is to keep this stuff from getting on our nice fresh hardwood floors. This stuff is very hard to remove once it's on. I uh, don't want to damage that nice oak surface that we just had refinished. Um, but I used yellow frog tape. Um, you have the green and yellow. I think the green is the regular, the yellow's the sensitive, sensitive version of it. So I taped everywhere I don't want to get primer or paint. And then what I did is I took the trim paint, the latex paint that we're gonna be using to paint the risers after they're primed, and I went through and I hit all of those taped edges. So this painter's tape, the reason you get such clean lines in it is there's a chemical, I guess, in the adhesive that turns to like a gel. There's probably some other videos on YouTube that you can check out about it, but um, the water in the latex paint actually activates that. I've tried taping and getting a cr uh, clean line using the bins, uh, the bins insert, bin, blah, 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 blah. I've tried getting a really good line with painter's tape and the bin primer and it just doesn't work because the alcohol on here does not activate the tape or that sealant in the tape. So what I did is I, I took our latex paint, the, our final color that everything's gonna be painted. I went through, I hit all of the tape joints and that helps seal in Otherwise, we'll get bleed through with this. This stuff is really watery, as you can probably see here. See how it drip, just drips on here? So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through and I am going to paint this on. This stuff can be a little hard to work with if you've never used it. Um, it's much easier to roll on. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going through and I wanna cover up all the brown surface, all the previously stained surface on these stairs. And I'm not worrying about brush marks right now. All I'm doing is worrying about sealing in this brownness on here. The first coat will look a little light and streaky. Your second coat will be much, much better. Um, and especially if you can do this with a, a roller the entire time and not use a brush, um, it, it'll come out really nice. Uh, I could have sprayed this with my Graco sprayer, but uh, I chose not to do all the extra prep work this time um, since it's only like 12 stairs, so. I'm going to go through, I'm going to cut all of this in, and I'm going to go back with a 4-inch foam roller. And I like the foam rollers with this because it gives a nice finish. Um, I don't like the lamb's wool or, you know, the synthetic uh, woven type rollers because it does leave a texture. That's okay on like ceilings and walls and whatnot, if that's what you're looking for. Um, but I'm going to use the foam. It works out really well, I've found in the past with uh, painting some of the doors, like our slider doors in the hallway upstairs. We haven't changed those over to the new six panel like you've seen in my other videos yet. I'm trying to concentrate on kind of moving from the upstairs to the downstairs here, working on our living room, dining room, and then our den. Um, and I definitely will have some more new content uh, as I'm working on those rooms, all the different things I need to do in there. So hopefully it's something of use for you. And uh, we appreciate you guys watching these videos. 
So let's go into uh, time warp here. <laughs> 